Okay, welcome to Photography 2, which is all about people photography. And the one thing about people photography is that a lot of people do it badly. Okay, so they're taking pictures of, of other people in their life, and they do it badly. So in this lesson series, you're going to learn how to take amazing photos, and we're going to follow some rules of photography that even though we're using an iPad, the same rules still apply to all photography. Okay, so the first rule we're going to talk about is the composition of your shot. Okay, so normally we want to kind of have some lines on here, and, and the iPad will have a grid kind of like this, okay? And what it's, the problem is is that you want the eyeballs, these little eyeballs, to be on that top line there, and then it can be, you know, the photograph looks better. What most people do is they put it right smack in the middle. They try to put the eyes in the middle, and then you get all this headroom, we call it, all this unnecessary garbage up here above their heads, and it just makes the photograph look really bad, okay? So the first rule, and you're going to learn all about this, but I just wanted to kind of show you some typical photographs of what's happening. So let's go on. All right, oh, look here, someone broke the lighting and exposure rule. They've got all these bright lights in the background, whether they're windows or they're lights, and if that happens, then the camera adjusts to the bright light here rather than adjusting to the face, okay? So that's another rule or a bad uh, example of photography there. Example. Oh, and here we go, this poor, this poor kid here, same photo, I mean, same kid, different photo, and then uh, it's blurry. So we got all these fuzzy parts, the eyes are not very clear, and so the focus is out. And so this is what we're really talking about. And I know all of you have seen examples of this, your parents, other kids around you are like, oh, look at these photos, and you're like, oh, they don't really look good, they're blurry, or they're dark, or their composition of them. Let's take a look at when, when it works out great. Aha, uh -huh, look at here. So if we put the grid on here, we can see their eyes are on the top line. That's what makes it such a great photo. It's in focus, it's well lit. And the posture, the posing is really nice in it. So once you get all those things down, look at over here. Aha, same thing. Grid, and where are their eyeballs? On the top line. If you have kids of different heights, of course, you'll adjust it accordingly. Slide here, another thing here, so. And, and of course, everything's in focus, everything looks good. And the lighting is really well and all these, as well as the layout is really well and the poses are really great. So let's get into photography and let me teach you how to, you can do this on your iPad too.